5206 CPLR. This is real property exempt from the satisfaction of a money judgment. First is the homestead exception. No homestead is exempt from taxation or from sale for non-payment of taxes or assessments. For non-payment of taxes or assessments. So next is the monetary amounts. And monetary amounts are based on the value of the homestead above all liens and encumbrances. Because no house in Queens is worth $150,000. Houses are worth like a million dollars. Okay, but if you only have $100,000 equity or $149,000 equity in the house, that's an exempt homestead. Because you're, you're basically not gonna be able to acquire another homestead with that kind of money. You don't even have like a down payment. This includes a lot of land with a dwelling thereon, a co-op, condo, or mobile home. This includes a lot of land with a dwelling thereon, a co-op, condo, or mobile home. Also, the homestead must be occupied as a principal residence of the debtor. The principal residence of the debtor. An absence for one year or less is not considered that you moved from the homestead. Also, the homestead exemption is not void just because the property exceeds a county's statutorily exempt value, but the lien of the judgment will just attach to the surplus. Next is the amounts. It's $150,000 value above the liens and encumbrances for all of New York City, both counties in Long Island, Putnam, Westchester, and Rockland. So Rockland, Putnam, and Westchester are lumped in with New York City and Long Island at $150,000. Next is $125,000. And those counties are Ulster, Columbia, Dutchess, Albany, Saratoga, and Orange. $125,000. And those counties are Ulster, Columbia, Dutchess, Albany, Saratoga, and Orange. And then $75,000 through the rest of the state. The deal with the land for burying grounds can't be more than a quarter of an acre, can't have any buildings on it except like a gravestone, basically. And a part thereof must actually be used for that purpose. So you, I think you actually have to have a dead body like buried on there. Or I guess you could stick a gravestone on there and, you know, I don't know if anyone's going to dig it up to find out if you really got a dead body in there, but... The homestead exception is not void because the property exceeds statutorily exempt value, but the lien of a judgment attaches to the surplus. Next is the amounts. It's $150,000 value above the liens and encumbrances for all of New York City, all, both counties in Long Island, Putnam, Westchester, and Rockland. So Rockland, Putnam, and Westchester are lumped in with New York City and Long Island at $150,000. Next is $125,000. And those counties are Ulster, Columbia, Dutchess, Albany, Saratoga, and Orange and then $75,000 through the rest of the state. The deal with the land for burying grounds can't be more than a quarter of an acre, can't have any buildings on it except like a gravestone, basically. And a part thereof must actually be used for that purpose. The deal with the land for burying grounds can't be more than a quarter of an acre, can't have any buildings on it except like a gravestone, basically. And a part thereof must actually be used for that purpose. So you, I think you actually have to have a dead body like buried on there. Or I guess you could stick a gravestone on there and, you know, I don't know if anyone's going to dig it up to find out if you really got a dead body in there, but... In Putnam, $125,000 for the counties of Dutchess, Albany, Columbia, Orin, Saratoga, and Ulster, and $75,000 for the remaining counties of the state in value above liens and encumbrances, owned and occupied as a principal residence, is exempt from application to the satisfaction of a money judgment, unless the judgment was recovered wholly for the purchase price thereof. A lot of land with a dwelling thereon, shares of stock in a cooperative apartment corporation, units of a condominium apartment, or, or a mobile home. But no exempt homestead shall be exempt from taxation or from sale for non-payment of taxes or assessments. B. Homestead exemption after owner's death. The homestead exemption continues after the death of the person in whose favor the property was exempted for the benefit of the surviving spouse and surviving children until the majority of the youngest surviving child and until the death of the surviving spouse. 
C. Suspension of occupation as affecting homestead. The homestead exemption ceases if the property ceases to be occupied as a residence by a person for whose benefit it may so continue, except where the suspension of occupation is for a period not exceeding one year, and occurs in consequence of injury to or, or destruction of the dwelling house upon the premises. D. The exemption of a homestead is not void because the value of the property exceeds $150,000 for the counties of Kings, Queens, New York, Bronx, Richmond, Nassau, Suffolk, Rockland, Westchester and Putnam, $120,000 for the counties of Duchess, Albany, Columbia, Orange, Saratoga and Ulster, and $75,000 for the remaining counties of the state but the lien of a judgment attaches to the surplus. B. Sale of homestead. A judgment creditor may commence a special proceeding in the county in which the homestead is located against the judgment debtor for the sale, by a sheriff or receiver, of a homestead exceeding one. A judgment creditor may commence a special proceeding in the county in which the homestead is located against the judgment debtor for the sale, by a sheriff or receiver, of a homestead exceeding one. The court may direct that the notice of petition be served upon any other person. The court, if it directs such a sale, shall so marshal the proceeds of the sale that the right and interest of each person in the proceeds shall correspond as nearly as may be to his right and interest in the property sold. Money, not exceeding $150,000 for $125,000 and $75,000 for the remaining counties of the state, paid to a judgment debtor, as representing his interest in the proceeds, is exempt for one year after the payment, unless before the expiration of the year, he acquires an exempt homestead, in which case, the exemption ceases with respect to so much of the money as was not expended for the purchase of that property, and the exemption of the property so acquired extends to every debt against which the property sold was exempt. Where the exemption of property sold as prescribed in this subdivision has been continued after the judgment debtor's death, or where he dies after the sale and before payment to him of his portion of the proceeds of the sale, the court may direct that portion of the proceeds which represents his interest be invested for the benefit of the person or persons entitled to the benefit of the exemption, or be otherwise disposed of as justice requires. F. Exemption of burying ground, land, set apart as a family or private burying ground is exempt from application to the satisfaction of a money judgment, upon the following conditions only. One, a portion of it must have been actually used for that purpose. Two, it must not exceed in extent one-fourth of an acre. And three, it must not contain any building or structure, except one or more vaults or other places of deposit for the dead, or mortuary monuments.